And this is the live chakra attunement with Wisdom Word. And we're um, the morning after the full moon. Last night the full moon was exact. Full moon lunar eclipse about, mm, about 5.30 p.m. Pacific. So about 8.30 Eastern. No, sorry, about 7. 7.30 Pacific. So about 10.30 Eastern. So you might have been brightly up last night or dreaming a lot. Um, at any rate, we need to find some nice balance with our days, these days. And one of the ways that we do that is through conscious breathing. Taking a nice breath in, pausing at the top of the breath, releasing the breath, pausing at the bottom of the breath. And so we use our mind to shape our breath, which means we pay attention to how we're breathing. And in the Samavriti breath, that means your inhale and your exhale are the same length. And so you can use your mind to shape your breath by counting the length of your inhale, pausing at the top, and counting the length of your exhale, pausing at the bottom. And so you get a nice rhythm going and you focus on that breath. And by focusing on the breath and consciously breathing in specific patterns or ways, you can bring your body and your hormones and your chemistry to a nice balance. And the Samabriti breath, the balance of the Samabriti breath is a balance of um, exactly that kind of staying in a nice peaceful balance. So as we're breathing in and breathing out this morning, we're focusing on the breath. We're drawing ourself back to center on the inhale. On the exhale, we're releasing anything we don't need to be fully present here in this moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> breathing in. Breathing out. Continuing that breath. Ah. <sighs> That's good. And as the breath moves through the body, it brings you back to center and it releases anything you don't need to be fully present here in the moment. Surround the body now in a container of light. So imagine, realize, actualize, visualize this container of light around the body, below the feet, above the head, in front of the body, behind the body, to the right and the left. And for most people, it should be about four feet from the edges of your body all the way around. Breathing in, breathing out. And we like to, when we come together in a group, to do the invocation for 2024, which is mindful awareness or the ability to be fully present in the moment. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake. I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am fully present. Breathing out, I am fully present. And we say it three times, so two more, to really get our focus on the full presence in the moment. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake. I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am fully present. Breathing out, I am fully present. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake. I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am fully present. Breathing out, 
I am fully present. And so checking on your container of light, just noticing what you notice, and begin to drop your attention to the energy center in the body at the base, known as the root chakra or the red energy. So this is at your pelvic bone, your tailbone, and it goes down the legs. In the body, there's quite a number of chakras, and there's two at the bottom of each foot in the center. And so these um, two chakras connect very much with your root chakra and your ability to balance on the earth, to be grounded on the earth. And we like to ground to the new healed whole mother earth. We name it, we give it a name, new healed whole mother earth, the blueprint of the steady, balanced, perfect earth. So breathing in and out, focusing on that red energy, imagine it building at the tailbone and the pelvis, but moving in a smooth um, stream of energy and an even stream down the right leg and the left leg to the bottoms of the feet and connecting you to the center of the earth, the new healed whole mother earth. Breathing in and out. Our exercise is a low toned ohm where we visualize that red energy and the one syllable Sanskrit mantra for the root chakra is Lam with an L. Om Lam Lam feel yourself a little bit more grounded, a little bit more aware and conscious. Straighten up that spine and drawing the breath in, come up to the second chakra, the orange chakra at the navel area. So this is around your navel area, kind of stretching from hip to hip and around the lower back there. And this orange creative bright energy visualizing. Oh, there's lots of orange fruits and tangerines and satsums and oranges and kumquats, all kinds of orange, breathing in and out, and just visualize that color permeating that belly navel area. It's a medium toned ohm for an exercise as you're spinning that chakra, waking it up, and the one syllable Sanskrit mantra that we chant is Vam. Um, vam, vam. And feeling the red and the orange vibrantly starting to ground you and align you, keeping the spine straight, lifting up the rib cage. So the solar plexus chakra, Archangel Michael spoke to us about this chakra last night and the idea of working with um, deep indigo colors like navy blue or sapphire, which aren't ordinarily the colors associated with the solar plexus chakra. They are more the colors associated with the third eye. So the color associated with the solar plexus chakra is yellow. And I like to think of that like the Earth's sun. And I like to think of Michael reminding us that we're our power chakra. This is our personal power, our sense of self-worth. So as you're breathing in and out and opening up that area, you might be mentally chanting to yourself, I am worthy, I am confident, I am powerful. And this is spiritual power. And so focusing on that yellow energy like the earth sun, we bring it in. It's a high toned um, um for the exercise to spin that chakra and to wrap it around your adrenals and get yourself some more vitamin D and some more energy this morning. And Ram is the one syllable Sanskrit mantra. So a higher tone um to activate. Um, Ram. Ram. 
And so these first three, your red, your orange, your yellow, your first three chakras, they are the ones that you want to keep nice and fresh and open because they're the ones that help steer you through your physical life and those personal relationships and your relationship to the earth and all of that. Um, when Archangel Michael came through on last night's full moon, he talked about bringing some indigo in here, and my sense is, is that it's a balancing of your personal power with your vision. So the vision chakra, the um, indigo chakra, which is the third eye, which is um, going to be um, two, well, one up from the heart to the throat to the third eye. This is where humanity, mankind, humankind, womankind, this is where we start to come into a holistic vision. We start to move out of duality. Uh, my sense is that the Archangel Michael is telling us to bring that idea of holisticness and wholeness into this idea of power. So this is spiritual power, which is a holistic, um, whole kind of power. I think human power has always been about, you know, us against them or how to protect what we have or this kind of a separation power. So I believe that, you know, humankind and the human consciousness is moving into more of a unity consciousness. Um, we're watching that on our planet as we see a lot of um, separation coming up and a lot of us or them or, you know, these are the good guys, these are the bad guys, these are the immigrants, these are the Native Americans, these are the um, Republicans, these are the Democrats, these are the liberals, these are the conservatives. So there's a lot of this dichotomy. I'm on this side, you're on that side, and so on and so forth. And so bringing this vision of a whole earth into your everyday energy field um, by meditating a lot on that solar plexus chakra, I think can be very helpful. So aligning our chakras helps us become aware of where we're out of alignment <laughs> and helps us um, kind of delve into, well, what does that particular chakra work with? Just like we're noticing what the third chakra might work with and saying how we can bring new vision into that third chakra to help us feel more aligned, more balanced, and more whole in our more physical selves. Now we go up to the bridge chakra. So after the third chakra, the solar plexus, we come to the heart. This is the green energy, the coolness, the healing, the empress on the throne, the divine feminine energy. So breathing into your heart chakra, the exercise is, ah, it's like a beautiful, ah. So you keep that up as you're breathing, as you're listening. Ah, and opening the jaw and spreading that green energy from the chest all the way around your body. Ah, take a moment to really visualize your whole body, every cell, every muscle, every tissue, every nerve impulse filling with green. Ah, yum is the Sanskrit one syllable mantra. Ah, yum. Yum, yum, hi, yum. I always like to open the neck with this chakra. Ah, yum. So make some circles with your nose, opening up your neck, your shoulders, bringing the green energy through them. Hi, yum. Hi, yum. Hi, yum. Hi, yum. And visualizing that green going through. Mmm. Hi, yum. So this is the bridge chakra that bridges those lower threes that are about you and your needs and your grounding and your sense of safety and your sense of power, personal power. And so the heart bridges us up to these up next three chakras, the throat chakra, the light blue, the sky, the deep blue of lapis. So it's very bright blue, this blue. And the blue sky kind of says it all. Breathing in and out in the throat chakra, I like to just imagine I'm laying on the earth and looking up at the blue sky. And you can feel your spine along the edge of the earth and maybe spreading your arms and your legs and breathing in and out and drawing in that blue energy for the throat. 
Hum. Yes, we're doing the lion breath. Hum. The tongue comes out. Hum. As you repeat H-U-M. The paws flare up. The hands flare up. Hum. Hum. And you imagine clearing your throat, opening your throat chakra to the heart, expressing through the heart. Hum. H-U-M is also a one-syllable Sanskrit mantra, but we chant it. Hum. Hum. Breathing in and breathing out. Hum, 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 hum. And spreading that energy through the body system, spreading that blue energy through the body system, opening the throat chakra and expressing your authentic self into the world, breathing in and out. We move from the throat chakra that's all the way starts at your base of your throat there, you know, the collarbone comes together, goes all the way up the windpipe and the cervical spine, up into the jaw, lower jaw, upper jaw, and even the roots of your teeth. So breathing in and out, kind of feeling energy going to all those areas, drawing a nice deep breath and come up to the third eye, that indigo that we mentioned, that Archangel Michael mentioned. He's the um, master that's in charge of the indigo ray, which does connect with the third eye and the vision. So maybe taking a moment to invite Michael, Michael burning bright with the sword of truth and light to come in and clear any fog that's left there, clear any illusions, delusions, be able to really see in a new way from your own intuition, your own inner knowing. So the indigo chakra, when I get to that, I always like to turn the palms up. So taking the hands, turning the palms up, breathing in and out and starting to feel immense gratitude. So take a few breaths and think of something you can be grateful for and maybe state it out loud. I'm grateful for this breath grateful for this opportunity to live another day and to bring more light into the world. I'm grateful for this moment in time. I'm grateful for this lovely cat in my lap. Whatever it is, find something to be grateful for. He's nice and warm too. (laughs) He's like a little warm blanket. Breathing in and out, finding that gratitude. The palms are up. You're visualizing indigo. The exercise for the third eye chakra to wake it up, to get it going, to pierce the veils of illusion is Thai pitched. And sham is the one syllable Sanskrit mantra. Sham, 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 sham. Sham, sham, sham. Guan Yin also spoke last night on the full moon, um, channeling in the full moon, energy download, transmission. She talked about discernment, really needing that discernment. And the third eye is a place, third eye, combination of heart and solar plexus. These are places where you can really bring that energy of discernment forward into your choices in the moment, into your movements in the moment, breathing in and breathing out. And so with the palms open still to receive, we move up to the crown chakra, and this is at the top of the brain, the top of the skull there, and it radiates out of the top of the head and flows up to spirit. And we use the exercise of wa, and we go from a low to high, like wah, 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 wah. When we get to that high note, we kind of just hold it and let it melt into the space around you and kind of listen to it with your etheric awareness um, while it goes on and you feel the can uh, the shower of light that comes back towards you and towards your aura and you can feel it coming into the palms of your hands at the end of that so we take a moment of stillness pure stillness at the end of the exercise and then we'll go into the second round. So visualizing the purple amethyst to white light. Ready? (laughs) 
it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. And in the moment of stillness, you can feel your chakras connecting to the color wheel, the color vibration, the frequencies of energy in a balanced way. In that moment of stillness, you can feel the energy that you've generated through your exercise pouring into the container of light around the body. In this moment of stillness, you can set your intention for the day. And the one syllable Sanskrit mantra that goes with the crown chakra is Om. And so we will go ahead and tone Om. One beautiful tone of Om. Just feel it resonating through your body and sealing our practice for today. Ready? Om.